Nothing under the sun is new to God. And there isn't a situation that he's been brought into that he cannot take care of. So for those who are going through it, I encourage you again today and every other day to stand your ground and take control of your life. During those conversations, you guys, I had um, someone who asked me, well, actually, I had a couple people who asked me a very interesting question. And I say interesting, not so much that the question in itself and its originality was interesting, but the fact that so many people would ask the exact same question. And the more I'm asked this question, I seem to not worry so much about outcomes of people who are standing for your marriage. I feel like if you're already standing for your marriage, if you're willing to do whatever it takes, if you are making sure that you aren't lost while standing for your marriage, that this question always seems to lead people to a better or deeper understanding for who they are, no matter what's going on, and that they've asked me to answer this question, and I'll share it with you. I was asked this week if during my stand, did my wife ever tell me if it was too late for us to get back together? The answer to that question is a firm and loud yes. One night, you guys, after I think it was at evening school, we were both at Brian and Stratton College, which is where me and my wife attended at the time. Um, we were going after, you know, furthering our education, furthering our, our careers. And going to college was one of the ways for us to do that. However, when everything kind of went down, sort of say, sort of speak, we were at Brian and Stratton when it did. So most of our interactions took place, if not at home or at work, it was at evening school. So Tiffany and I talked about our plans for divorce. I say our, but I mean, really mean like the plans. I never want to like own the, the plans per se. I never want to own it. So it's the plans. It wasn't my plan. It, may, it wasn't all of Tiffany's plans either, but we call them the plans for the divorce. She explained her side of the whole plan and how smooth the transition would go for everyone. Of course, I resisted the urge to scream or go off the hinges from her plans. But this time I chose not to. I actually remained mentally calm and in control of my usually telling body language. If anybody's ever told you about body language, it manifests itself in so many different ways that if you try to control yourself as best you can, if the person you're talking to is reading you pretty well, the slightest change in your body language is enough to uh, make it a little hard for you. I knew any sign of indifference or defense from me would reconfirm and validate her mindset at the time. The best move I could have made was to pray in my mind to God before, during, and after the conversation happened. So here, this woman stood before me, five foot one, smaller than me, arms folded tightly, wrapping around her chest like a bulletproof vest. Her stare towards me felt more like a gaze through me. This wasn't a conversation she came unprepared for. Yet still, I stood in front of her, not moving, not shaking, and responding out of desperation or fear. She asked me, when are you going to tell me about how you will pay for the house when the girls and I leave? Time is ticking, she said. Her question slowly delivered a certain feeling in my chest, a sharp and cold sensation, like a smooth dagger, plunging itself past my rib cage and stabbed right into my lungs. It was hard to breathe when I processed her words. I quickly coached my inner self. Breathe, Ty. Stay calm. Don't show the signs. Stand strong. Do not show the signs. I collected my strength and formed a response to her question. A decision is being made, but I'm not going to talk about it right now, I said. A pause came between us. It lingered just long enough for it to feel awkward. She came back with a response to my answer. This just needs to end and be done with, okay? 
Maybe it will end, I said softly to her. Until then, I'm going to do what I can as a married man, I quickly followed up. Her eyes quickly found mine as she responded, You don't have a wife, Tyree. Not anymore. This is over, and it's too late to find whatever was never there. I asked God to keep me upright and proper. These words did not sound like the woman I once knew. A voice besides my own whispered to me, It's okay. Talk to her. Tiffany, I called out to her assertively. I am sorry for what happened between us, and a decision is being made. I know you are ready to move on and get away from whatever it is you believe is holding you back. But for now, I am a married man, and I'm not going anywhere. Maybe you would say this was foolish of me, you guys, to speak that way. And I would say that sometimes you must cut through the craziness and anger-filled air to speak life into your stand. I am not talking about matching anger with anger or even making antagonistic demands yourself. I mean, if you have not started to groom yourself or are afraid of how your prodigal spouse will respond to your new boundaries and commitments, then it's time to ask our Lord for direction and composure to finally step into the gap he waits for you in. So, shout your marital commitments at the enemy. Put on your truest and greatest display of faith in front of the enemy and stand proudly as a spouse, covered and bound in the living word of the Lord. Let it be understood to all who come to only take and forsake you that you can try to kick me all you want. You can try to accuse me of all the lies the devil sent you with all you want. Hate me all you want when the Lord shows you his love for me. I'm not going anywhere and I will not change my commitments. Sometimes it is only one person we are facing. And sometimes it can feel like it is you against the world. But if you do not set your boundaries and make them known, then you will be stuck living within everyone else's perfect plan for you. Take back control of your life today. God bless. That's going to end it for today's episode, you guys. If this has helped you in any way, as before, please like, share, subscribe. Click the link down in the description that will lead you to our online site at www.tyreewilson.com. You can also click for our mobile site, which gives you better access to me, better access to the content that I create, better offers, better new better updates this is all still waiting for you it's still all available let me help or if you're one of those people who just likes to listen and self-study even better you guys have a safe day and i'll see you next time